wanted to give you a tour of our room. We're in 9818 on the Norwegian Escape. When you come into the room, you put your key card in here. This allows you to turn the lights on and off. When you pull this out, you do not have access to do that. So you wanna leave your key card in there. There's these buttons right here and you can choose do not disturb or make up room. Let me go ahead and click do not disturb because um, our wonderful stewardess already did make up our room for the day. And I will show you what it looks like outside. Those little dots do light up to let the stewardess know to not disturb if you are home and to make up the room. The bathroom is right here. <clears throat> you do have a full length mirror and your thermostat controls. Our room, we did bring a lot of stuff. <laughs> This is, there's actual a lot of space here to store things. Um, we keep our toothbrushes up top with some little toothpaste. And there's all of our stuff. Um, I have all of our stuff pretty much packed in bags ready to go because we do um, disembark tomorrow. Um, my blow dryer, straight iron, hair brushes. That's all of our medications in there. And here's our shower, you do get a really nice size shower that you do um, get to stand up in. The kids and I do fit in there together. Um, I do bring, here's a tip, I bring these little suction cup hooks to hook bathing suits or washcloths in. I bring four of them. The lower one is for the kiddos. Another tip is Mostly all of the walls in your cabin are metal, which means they're magnetic. So I do bring a bunch of magnetic hooks. I hang our dirty clothes back there. So there's that. You do have your soap and cups. Okay. Under the sink, there is additional storage. here. There were already two hooks. These are not movable. I added one there and a whole bunch on the other side. Um, we hang our sweatshirts and sweaters here. Um, that way we can just grab and go. It does tend to be cooler on the cruise ship and I am always cold anyways. So I'm constant playing, constantly playing the hot and cold game throughout the whole cruise when it's 85 degrees on the deck and about 70 inside. There's hooks on the back of the door for your bathing suits and towels, etc. We hang our key cards there and my wallet purse. Before we did leave, I printed out our, t I, our itinerary. It has a map each day what we plan on doing. I did include the activities we have planned and what we need to bring so we can have everything at a glance. And then I do uh, write in if we do make reservations for any additional things. And then there's our map of where we are going. Splash Academy for the kids has their own event page for the whole week. It is front and back, so I'll add that there. There's also a map of the cruise ship in case we need to reference it. They're doing an announcement. Let's do it. Let's go listen. Let's talk about what we get into this afternoon. Now, once again, if you're looking for some dining options, just remember today and tonight in the wonderful Garden Cafe, we got the grill extravaganza. We got that roasted or roast leg of lamb going on on the carving station. Grilled pork chops, grilled steak, grilled corvina steaks, corn on the cob, and much more. Plus, in that Oceans, it's the beautiful mouth-watering prime rib. Available in Oceans and the fantastic Garden Cafe's got some great things. Make sure you check out some dining options as we get into your last night of world-class entertainment. But another dining option for you tonight, make sure you make those reservations right now for a very unique show we have in the Supper Club tonight. Join jazz and pop recording artist Daniel LeClaire and his tribute to Michael Buble. 
It is a phenomenal show. It's called Daniel LeClaire, a crooner, double covered. It is a great show. Now, he has been part of the hit Broadway show, Book of Mormon, and over 1,200 performances. He's done performances with Betty White, fantastic people where he shared the main stage with John Stamos, All American Rejects, Amy Fuller, and much more. Check out Daniel tonight in the Supper Club at 6 p.m. Deck 6 forward. Reservations are required. There's few left, so make sure you make them right now. Now join me poolside in a few minutes time as I'm about to do my very own version of the Pool Olympics I call Tyler's Aqua Challenge. Three amazing challenges with some quirky little twists. Check it out. Plus, we're going to give you a little something by the whole Norwegian Escape family. Tyler's Aqua Challenge starts at 12.45 poolside in just a few minutes. Okay, now so walking in comfort oh. for anyone suffering with pain. Uh, okay, you get the idea. So they will make announcements throughout the day. And, like I said, the map. Okay, here's our messy, messy um, catch-all. There is an ottoman underneath. The trash can and the blow dryer are underneath there. I did bring my own, though. Here is your ice bucket. There is usually a coffee maker tray here. I did have our stewardess remove it because we don't drink coffee. And so it takes up room on the counter that we need. My kids have been saving the towel animals from each night. They are looking quite ragged and they're missing their eyeballs. Um, this one's eyeballs have just fallen to the wayside. <laughs> that was a penguin, a dinosaur, an elephant. Um, there are actually three outlets on this cruise, which is the most I've ever seen on a cruise ship. Um, I bring this, it's a USB adapter so we can charge everything at once. We did find out, however, if your key card is not in the wall and you leave the room and you think that you're charging your items, they are not charging until you come back and put your key card in. So maybe if you have a kid or something, you could leave your key card here so they continue to charge. Or if you're um, gonna charge them overnight, leave your key card in the wall, okay? Um, let's see what else. Your phone, I always, always, always advise bringing a stack of post-it notes and a pen, which my kids were playing with my pen, so I don't know where my pen went. It's probably on my nightstand. Um, I leave notes for my stewardess each day, whether it's have a good day or if there's anything I need her to do specifically, like can we have an extra towel or anything like that. Um, and then here is a ledge. We keep our cups up there. Um, you get these cups when you sign up for the drink package. My husband and I signed up for the soda package. So we each have one, the other one's in the bathroom. It's a portable charger and a Bluetooth speaker for us when we wanna play music in the room or whatever. And then my anniversary card that my husband got me. Okay. Um, I also do bring a battery operated clock. It's an alarm clock and it shows the temperature. Um, as you notice, this room does not have a clock. No cabins do. So this is our clock. Here's our TV. Hi. I brought four umbrellas. I did look at the um, forecast and it was forecasted to rain in almost every port. This is my visor. Um, this was all sitting on our counter and we don't really need to use any of it. So I put it all here out of the way. Here are the cabin uh, or the cabinets. I have all of my stuff in there. These two cabinets I have staked claim as my own. It is the end of the week. Everything is jammed in there at this point. It was folded nicely at one point. Here's the bottom bunk. It is a couch but we have it used as a bunk and we actually requested our stewardess to leave the bunks made throughout the whole week. Number one, it saves her a ton of work of pulling them in and out every single day, twice a day. And my kids come back and they have their own designated space when they want. There's the upper bunk. Usually it will be tucked up into the ceiling and that bunk does have their own nightlight. But like I said, we keep them pulled out all the time. We don't ever have them put that back. Here is the main bed and there's our monkey from last night. He's just so cute. I can't, I can't just put him away. 
each night light has their own <clears throat> or each side has their own night light and it has a USB port and I've tried using it multiple times to charge my phone it's it doesn't work I don't know why there's my nightstand I have a few things my headphones and a few medication things and my my um, face mask and stuff like that and then each day they'll put their your freestyle daily out on your bed that's my sweatshirts that I kind of keep out and then here's our lovely balcony and our view it's absolutely beautiful we saw land outside today and we believe it to be Cuba we are on our way back home uh, today we port tomorrow and go home to, from Miami to California and um, so we're heading in fact I see land out there right now and I believe that is Cuba it's so beautiful I love laying on the bed and just staring out into the ocean it's so peaceful let me take you outside Last night we actually got to watch a lightning storm standing out here. Okay, let me show you the closet situation. Okie doke. Oh, and then also, I have assigned a drawer to each one of my children. They are tore up. This is one drawer. It was folded nicely, but we're on vacation. So it is what it is. Let me move the ladder. Okay. Husband and I's shoes are all up top. This is pretty much hubby's domain. There's our safe and all of our paperwork and some chargers. This is all of his stuff. And then we put the kids' shoes at the bottom so they can grab them at any time that they need. And let me show you the other side. All of our hanging stuff, we did request extra hangers. And then we have some dirty clothes bags down there. We did take advantage of their 1999 fill a bag with laundry, as much as you can fit in the bag. Um, there's hubby shoes, and then that purple bag right there has all of our snorkel and excursion gear in it. So, there has been plenty of space for all of us on this cruise, and I highly advise getting this size of a room for a family of four. We've done an ocean view room on Princess before, and it just was not big enough. It was fine. We survived. By the end of the week, I was ready to pull my hair out because I was tired of bumping into people. This room, I have survived and I never once felt like it was too small. Okie doke. Well, thank you so much. Bye.